Thanks. This is Steve, and uh, we have the digital breakfast this morning with my lovely wife, Nicola. You're looking at Nicola's screen at the moment. Um, she's in Google Classroom. You can see up the top right-hand corner that Nicola's at Elam Christian College, where I used to teach. In fact, where she's actually doing my old job, teaching Year 7 and 8 technology. Hello, Nicola. Hello. <laughs> okay. Now, in her Google Classroom, she's got six classes. Um, she's got the Elam Art Club. Uh, she's got 2017 7M, so that's a Year 7 class, and then 2017 7W, another Year 7 class. She's got a Bright Sparks, now that's a, a project group. She's got the Cargo Can, a tiny house project, and then the Maker Club. Before we look at the Cargo Can, the Maker Club, just tell me, that's, is that the um, that's a school-wide group? Yes, um, so that goes from Year 7 to Year 13. Um, there's myself and another Year 7 teacher involved, the um, uh, science teacher, I think a couple of science teachers. So that's where we have our resources like our 3D printer and that sort of thing and the kids can come at lunchtime and work on projects that might be for a competition or um, projects around school or projects they just want to work on themselves. And that, that Google Classroom is multi-level? Yes. Right. Same so with the Elam Art Club. Okay. That's a multi-level, that's another club in the school. Great, cool. Okay, can you open up the cargo can because it's the one I just wanted to briefly touch on. Um, oh. Okay, so the first thing that you can see on the cargo can is that there are three teachers in this class because you're in a shared learning environment. And so there's Nicola, Joanna, and Shermaine. Um, now, what you posted a couple of days ago um, was the Cargo King Company wants you to, to in pairs, construct a scale model of a shipping container from cardboard, in pairs, complete a scale, floor plan which contains the following areas. And I won't read it all out, but you've got the general gist of this. Um, yeah, so that's the design brief that we gave to the kids of what they'll achieve by the end of the term or the end of the project. Great. So you've got some topics down the left there. Can you click on number one? So you want me to talk about this? Yes, please. So Where's the one that's done? Down the bottom here. Um, okay. To introduce the topic, I found some um, newspaper articles I wanted the kids to learn about um, the housing crisis that's happening in New Zealand. Um, so this was the first article that the kids in class, we read it together and then they had to um, write a um, comment about what the article says. So they clicked on here, which took them to the actual article. There it is there. Um, so they read through that and then went back to here and then did a comment. They didn't click there, that's a class comment. They actually clicked, and I can't remember what it was called. Um, it was an individual comment. So this yeah, is the... Uh, it says answer the question, I think. Ah, the answer and, the question, that's right. Yep, and there's all of the 65 kids' answers. Cool? Yeah. Fantastic. Um, and you've marked them out of four. Um, yeah. Cool. And just tell me the rationale behind that. Um, because we do um, well below, below, at and above. So if you're above, you get four points. If you're well below, you get one point. That's just the system I use because I use the Google Sheets a lot. And um, if I add it up, then it gives me a total. And that's um, quite simple to do rather than a percentage. Fantastic. Can I get you to go back one? Yeah. Um, and I just want to show uh, one final thing before we wrap up. Um, so you've got those three topics plus another topic there. Um, and so you've kind of filtered your Google Classroom quite a lot by using those topics. So it keeps everything very tidy. Um, yeah. Can you click on About? Um, so here is some clips that we watched in class. I didn't have enough time to show the kids all the clips and I wanted them to go home and show mum and dad what the project was about and stuff. 
So I thought I'd put the um, clips there so the kids could watch them again at home because I want them to research at home and be excited about this project at home. So they're there any time the kids want to have a look at them. Okay, fantastic. So just to just to wrap up, the the project is probably about a term worth of work. Yeah. Yep. Um, the yeah. kids are working in pairs. They're in a one-to-one -one environment, so they've generally got iPads, um, yeah. and they are working in pairs to make a one-to-ten scale model of a twenty-foot container. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, that basically means that. And that, that scale model is almost the size of a desk, isn't it? The top of top of the desk. Ah, uh, yeah, it's sixty centimeters by twenty four centimeters. And so that and the scale is really really high. perfect for this project. If you put a stack of match boxes in there, it will actually be roughly the same size as a set of drawers. Uh, they'll be making. And, uh, sorry. Sorry. Um. A. 1H5 maths book, it has ten, um, one centimetre squares in it, so we're going to use oh, that for our floor pan. Because those will be one metre squares then. Hey, uh, cool. No. Thanks very much, Nicola. Cool. Cool. Hey, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Thanks, bye.